Hey everybody, so today's video is going to be my April book haul. Yes, um, I have a lot of books to talk to you guys about today. Yes, so we're just going to jump right into this and we also have an unboxing at the end of the video for Creepy Crate. So, and I'm very, very excited about this one. So, we're going to get to that at the end. So, stick around to the end, okay? Stick around to the end. It's going to be awesome. Okay, so the first one that I got this month was the Golden Specific by S.E. Grove. And I got this from Dollar Tree, so it was only a dollar. I know. Perfect. Pretty condition. Just, oh my gosh. Um, I have the first book to this, which is called The Glass Sentence, and I have not read it yet. But I saw this there for a dollar, and I was just like, even though you haven't read the first book, just buy it, because it's only a dollar. And if you love the first book, you have the second book. And can you imagine if you didn't buy this, and you read the first book, and you loved it, and you could have got it for a dollar. So, I don't know. My advice is to do that sometimes. So, and especially when it's only a dollar. And the cover's gorgeous. The only problem I have with it is that it doesn't match the first book in the series. In that the first book in the series has like this wax book cover that you can see through. And this one's just regular. So that bothers me a little bit. But, you know, it's fine. As, you know, as long as the covers aren't completely changed. I'm good. And then from Amazon for, I think I got this for like $7 used, um, is First Class Murder by Robin Stevens. This is a Wells and Wong mystery book. This is book three in the series. And um, I loved the first book so much. I still have yet to read the second one, but I think I'm going to read it very, very soon. But this one takes place on a train. I love trains. And you guys know... I love mysteries, and also I love the crap of murder on, on the Orient Express. So, first class murder on a train. Takes place in like the 1930s, I'm pretty sure, yeah, because I think I remember that. So, why wouldn't I want this? So, yes. So, really, really happy that I got a hold of it. Very, very excited about that one. And then this one um, I got on Amazon and used for, I think it was $5? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was $5. And that is The Mesmerist by Ronald L. Smith. And he is the same author who wrote Hoodoo, which you guys know that I loved. And he wrote the Black Panther adaption, um, middle grade adaption, which I still have not read. Um, but there he is right there. Yes. And I am very, very excited about this. This takes place in the Victorian era. It's about ghosts, supernatural. I think there's some mystery vibes going on. But it just sounds so awesome. And just look at the inside of this. It's absolutely stunning. It's so pretty. Look at that. That is gorgeous. First sentence. Being stuffed into a wardrobe with your hands tied is a dreadfully way, dreadful way to start out your day. Yes, I agree. Yes. So I'm very, very excited about this. Yes, this sounds awesome. I'm very excited. Yeah. And they're all middle grade. Um, actually, I don't know if the Golden Specific is considered middle grade or is it YA. I don't know. And then, in my Al Crate Jr. box, I got Arusha and the End of Time by Roshani Chotsky. And this is from the Rick Gordon Presents um, Diversity imprint. And I know I actually had a problem with, you know, I, I talked about this a while back, but author, the authors, um, publishers coming out with diversity-centric um, imprints. And I was just kind of like, why all of a sudden you need to do that? Why didn't you just publish them before? You know what I mean? But I know why Rick Riordan is specifically doing this, and it's to showcase diverse mythology books. So that's why I think I love this so much. And also, too, Rick Riordan is just, like, he's amazing. And, um, yeah, so I'm very, very excited about this. I have no idea when I'm going to get to this because I'm just, like, in a... Not really in the mood for something like this right now, but, you know, you never know. Um, but the cover is absolutely stunning. It's really cute. I'm very, very excited about this. So yes, oh my gosh, it's absolutely beautiful. So I got that in my Alcrate Junior box. And then Candlewick Press, as you guys know, they sent me a copy of Judy Moody and the Right Royal Tea Party um, by Megan McDonald. This is the advanced reader's copy that does not come out till September 2018. So I have a very, very early copy, um, but they sent this to me. And then they sent me all of the Judy Moody books. Yes. Sent me all of them. But yeah, so they ha I have all 13 right here. We have the first book, which is 
Judy Moody was in a mood, and then the last one, which is Judy Moody and the Bucket List, and the 14th one, which is right here. Yeah. So this was really cool. I'm going to see if my sister will want these. Well, if she doesn't want them, then I will donate them to the public library so that they can have some awesome editions of Judy Moody. Um, but yeah. So that's it. I'm going to reach you over here. I really want to open this Creepy Crate box. So those are all the books. I think there's a book in here. I've heard there's a book in the Creepy Crate. So uh, yeah. So those are all the books I have for you guys today. I told you guys it was a lot. It is because of all the Judy Moody books. But now we're going to get to the Creepy Crate. I'm very, very excited about this. So you guys can use my code, which is Richard's Books. Use my code and you can get some money off of your box. Um, and you need to do this, okay? You need to do this. This is like one of the best horror slash true crime boxes. This is the best horror slash true crime boxes out there. Like, oh, oh my gosh. So they, the box is way bigger this time around. So they're always changing up the box sizes. So you never know. Um, but they're amazing. They're amazing. So we're going to open it up. Okay, we see the little card on the top. We see the little card on the top. So let's dig in. Okay, so first thing I see is a little card with the spoilers on it. So we'll leave that to the end. Oh, okay, I'm very excited about this. Is this a tote? Ooh, let's just pull the first thing out. So it's this. So let's see what this is. I think it's a tote. Oh, wait, no, it's not. No, it's not. It is an apron. Oh, how cool. Oh, this is like high quality too. Oh my gosh. So it says, tonight I'm having an old friend for dinner. Okay. All right. So that is awesome. So next thing in the box is, I see a box. A little. Let's see what this is. They most of the time they have like really really good items like really really good actually all of the time they do like they're always weird things that you would never ex uh okay so first of all you guys know i don't drink i do not drink alcohol i just don't it's not i'm, it's not, I'm not that type of person just don't like it um and i love halloween michael myers so this is conflicting for me because I love it because it has Michael Myers on it. Do you see this? It's a flask with Michael Myers on it. But I don't drink, so I don't know what I would use this for. But it's so cute. Next thing. This. What is this? Mm -hmm. I have no idea what that is. I just know it's a skull with crossbones. So find the tab to open it up. Oh! It's got like a very like cool like silicone... Wait a second. Oh my god. No way. Okay. Okay, I hope I'm right. But I'm pretty sure that this is a tea infuser. Like, do you guys see the little chain and this? I think you hang it over your cup. Because it's silicone, and I, ha I have one that's silicone. And... Mm -hmm. Yeah, you open it. You see the holes? I'm pretty sure that... Oh my gosh, this is awesome. Oh, wow, this is cool. Oh, yes. So this is a tea infuser. I'm pretty sure. I don't even have to look at the spoiler card. But we will. But Wow. That is awesome. Yes. Wow. I really like that. I really like that. Next thing is... A spoon. Okay, a spoon. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. It's a spoon. It's a gold spoon, but it's a skull. Do you guys see that? There you guys go, right? I don't really know. But there you go. It's a spoon with a skull on it. And I'm pretty sure this is for like when you do tea. Because you couldn't eat with this. With holes in it. But look at that. That is so cute. Like, oh my gosh. Uh, I'm all like... Doo -doo -doo. I am very excited about this. Because I like to make tea a lot. So, 
this is going to be really cute to use because it's just it looks like some like freaky shit and I'm just excited about it yeah so that is cool Ooh, and it's good quality too so I'm pretty sure it's just not for decoration but that is nice I like that holy crap we got a lot of stuff all right next thing is a book I'll be gone in the dark one woman's obsessive search for the Golden State Killer by Michelle McNamara with an introduction by Gillian Flynn Gillian Flynn with an afterword by Penn Oswald oh what okay Oop, there's the back there's the front right oh wow that is amazing holy crap okay so I'm so excited about this like really really excited okay there's an introduction by Gillian Flynn are you freaking kidding me right now the first sentence that summer I hunted the serial killer at night for my daughter's playroom okay oh my gosh so this is gonna be awesome I am very very excited about this I love the colors on it the premise of it it's true crime oh wow I'm excited about this this is awesome so I guess we'll be adding this to my book haul right now. Um, I'll Be Gone in the Dark by Michelle McNamara. But wow, that is awesome. That is awesome. So I think that might be it in here. Let's just make sure. Oh, no, we got one more thing. And I think that's it. Let me get the card. This is a... Oh, cute. It's a cookie cutter, but it's an axe. That is cute. I like this. That is really cute. I like the theme of this. It was like like foodie things. Like there's tea and then there's like a drink and then there's an apron and there's a little cookie cutter. So that is really nice. I like that. So that is really cool. So let's see what was in here. So we have the cannibal apron embolized with one of Hannibal Lecter's most delicious quotes. Yes. I'll be gone in the dark by Michelle McNamara. And then Michael Myers flask. Oh yes. A skull tea infuser. See, I was right about that. So that is awesome. A golden sugar spoon. So a golden skull sugar spoon. So that is really cool. And then the hatchet cookie cutter. A Borden murders inspired tool. Oh, cra crazy. Okay. Lizzie Borden inspired cookie cutter. Um, but yeah, so this was really awesome. Culinary inspired craziness. Mystery. Wow. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we got a lot of really cool stuff in here. Like, I'm actually pretty blown away by this because usually they're really good boxes, but this kind of like, like this blew me away. Like, yes. So I'm really, really excited about this. This is awesome. But if you guys want to get yourself, yourself a Creepy Crate box, um, you can get a hold of it and you can get some money off your box if you use my code. It's not an affiliate code, so I don't get paid for anything. But, yeah, so thank you so much to Creeper K2 for sending me these boxes. This is awesome. And, yeah, so that is it for today. I will see you guys next time with another video. Really hope you guys enjoyed this, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.